peat swamps have unique, amazing ecosystems that are formed when layers of dead plant material build up and are flooded by fresh water. The peat swamps that we've been looking at are mostly on the islands of Borneo, Sumatra and Peninsula Malaysia. Lots of fish are only found in peat swamps and they're very specialised. Most of them are quite small and many of them also have the ability to breathe air. These waters are very acidic and often have very low oxygen content. So many of the fish have evolved over time to be able to deal with these quite harsh, difficult conditions. These are a group of miniature fishes, actually the smallest fishes that have ever been discovered anywhere in the world. And one interesting thing about them is they never go on to develop a fully adult skeleton, but are able to produce young while still in essentially a larval form. This is evolutionarily very rare. The male fish comes and cleans a space on the bottom of an underside of a leaf and he and the female come together in a quick embrace where only one or two eggs are released that then adhere to the undersurface of the leaf. At the moment we're sifting through the material, using the specimens we've collected and describing new species. So far, estimates suggest that perhaps 60% of peat swamps have already been converted to other land use. That means half of them have totally been wiped off the planet already. We're looking at perhaps 70% of all these uh, unique fish fauna extinct forever by 2050. Unless conservation is widespread, we are bound to lose many important and unique evolutionary lineages. I'm hopeful that we won't lose everything, but we are going to lose a lot.